This is the snake man here, and we're going to show you a few snakes. In here, we have two red-bellied black snakes. This one here is the girl. Girls are generally smaller than boys. Hey, she's a uh, four-year-old. This here is the boy, and the boy here is about ten-year-old, and he's about five and a half foot, one and a half meters. These things are deadly if you get bitten. Well, you'd be unlucky to die, but as far as I'm aware, there's two or three recorded deaths from these things. And there would be a lot more, except people do use anti... I mean, we have anti-venom for these, so it means if you get bitten by one of these, you can be treated, and in theory, you'll survive. Now, black snakes generally don't bite. See? Pretty good. Girl, come here, please. Uh, girl, lost her. See? Ah, uh, don't bite. You know, not really interested. They are a very lovely snake. If they were non-venomous, everyone would keep them as pets. Don't try this at home. Only snake man, snake busters can do this. They are absolutely lovely. Called red bellied black snake because they got red belly, black on top. Girl got smallish head. If you see the reddish belly, quite nice when they're young. When they get old and horrible, they often darken up like this dude. And as you can see, his belly is actually uh, quite dark. If we flip over to this uh, picture here, you'll see the nice red belly on these snakes. And one of those snakes with the red bellies is the big animal that I'm actually holding here. But that photo behind me is seven or eight year old now. So this snake, uh, as you can see, is quite old. Looks very good, in immaculate condition. All our snakes are generally in immaculate condition. We can't claim perfection all the time. They do get old, they do get sick, they do die. Having said that, we actually had two tiger snakes here uh, killed recently during a raid by DSE officers. And we have a number of snakes that are in convalescence as a result, broken bones and things, because they were brutally mistreated by wildlife officers when they raided the place. It's amazing that people that are supposed to uh, employed in a job to look after animals are running around killing animals. Uh, we had another situation where there was a raid just recently at Ngambi, same thing, death and destruction. Uh, it's quite outrageous, but because they're government officials, they can get away with murder. And they're actually doing the raid on the behest of a business competitor of snake busters who does not have snakes like these in immaculate condition because the business competitor uses metal tongs to pick up the snakes and break their backs. These snakes poke their tongues out, they're smelling the air. As you can see, they're quite content being handled. And guess what, I could even have my daughter handling them, which she does, and there'd be no problem. And she's been handling snakes since she was born. Black snakes are magnificent. If you don't like black snakes, you're a racist. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these two guys back into here. In fact, the girl, I might just stick the girl around my neck. I feed one of them for the video to get the boy to eat. They were in here to mate, but the boy wasn't interested. We do have another male who's very good at mating. Uh, but now look, you've seen this guy, not interested in biting. We'll just change that now and we'll get him some food. Ready, a rat. What's the change? Ready, set, Oh, look. Bang. See that? Ouch. Snakes know what to... Oh, it's his tail. I thought I thought I'd get bitten a snake sticking his tail in me. See, snakes are smart enough to know the difference between food and people. And that's important because people often think snakes are running around trying to bite people. They're not. They're not interested. Now, I'm going to put this one back. And, of course, you when you feed snakes... You put the video back on me. When you feed snakes, you have to understand that they often share food and one snake might end up eating the other one. So you keep the other snake away and this guy I will put in another cage and feed it later but we don't have a, another cage at the moment so we'll just end the video with me and a red bellied black snake but before we end there are actually three subspecies of these this is the nominate form uh, Porphyriacus there is another subspecies from South Australia called Rentonii named after a very good snake handler over there called Ian Renton and then of course there is the North Queensland variant which is probably the most different of the lot called Iperi found north of about Proserpine and up the top of, uh, bottom part of Cape York, around Cairns, those areas. And that's named after Scott Iper, who is a well-known uh, reptile dude from Queensland, who, well, we're in 2011 now, and hopefully next year he'll have his first published book out on venomous snakes, which everyone, I'm sure, is eagerly awaiting. Now, in terms of snakes like this, if you have a red-bedded black snake at an event or a show in Australia, and it bites someone, they will be carted off to hospital in an ambulance and they may die, unless it's one of ours, snake busters. If it's snake busters, it'll be risk free. These snakes are immaculate, but they've all had surgery, they've had their venom surgically removed. What that means is there is no risk to the people. 
more importantly the snakes we can pick them up with our bare hands we don't have to use sticks we don't have to use tongs the snakes can be treated with care you can see they're in immaculate condition no broken step no broken ribs no broken bones these guys have never been attacked with sticks they've never been tormented and that's why as you can see they crawl over my hand and they are not interested in biting me at all just remember snake busters are the only people who can guarantee risk-free deadly snake shows in Australia.